I just look at how awesome this cave is. I'm gonna have to remember how cool a properly placed cave out in the middle of nowhere. Hey kids, I hope you're having a great time here at the zoo. Uh, I'm gonna have to remember how a properly placed cave with a few rumbles, a little bit of dirt that falls down, it can really do something for the atmosphere, making our zoo quite awesome. Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to Zoo Tycoon. Zookeeper Siri here, and we're getting ready, finally, oh thank goodness, we can make a zookeeper center. Thank goodness. There is so much poop to scoop in this zoo and we still have quite a bit to do before the challenge is up. And uh, the challenge is actually going to end a lot sooner than I thought it would. I feel a little bit flummoxed at the fact that it feels like forever when it's like you have 40 minutes to achieve this challenge. And I'm like, 40 minutes, we can totally handle that. And then all of a sudden like the time just goes by so fast. So let's actually connect up this zookeeper station. So this is our zookeeper station. I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade it because we have the money to do that so that we can hire some people. Uh, who should I hire? Uh, ben, I used to know a zookeeper Ben. That'll be a good guy. So we'll hire him. And then let's go ahead and hire Nicole. Uh, so hopefully between Ben and Nicole, we won't have to worry about, you know, having all that poop to scoop. And I can focus on the important things, the facts of the matter, like getting the last of the animals that we need in order to complete the photosensitive challenge, such as the peafowl and the meerkat. Uh, also, we need to, smaller animals thrive in mini exhibits, build a suitable mini exhibit. So we need to build exhibits for all of those guys. We need to take pictures of all of them. We need to keep all of our animals happy and we need to raise the profile of our zoo and reach fame level 10, which I'm thinking we might be able to do with baby animals because come on, everybody loves baby animals and we might actually be fine without baby animals, but I haven't tried breeding the animals yet and I really kind of want to just because I think that's amazing. So we're gonna do some research for the breeding center and see if that helps. But all right, so let's see. My zookeepers should be out and about taking care of the animals. The animals are not 100% happy though. Scooter, what's wrong? Oh my gosh, Scooter, you're amazing. Has anyone told you that? Like, look at you. Ah, oh, he's so cool, guys. <laughs> And look with that beautiful alpine behind him. Oh, and that sauntering. I hope you guys are doing your part to like use reusable bags and all of that nonsense so that, well, it's not nonsense. It's really important to take care of the real tigers that we have out in the world because they are creatures of extreme beauty in my opinion they're one of my favorite animals but all right so scooter now that you've refilled it animals can use the cleaning station good so the cleaning station has been refilled scooter how do i check that's quincy so how do i see how you're doing peeing animal happiness hmm but that doesn't really tell me like what you need all right quincy animal camera now I'm looking at you. Okay. How does it tell me ping left, ping right, ping animal happiness? That just tells me if they're happy or not. But how do I figure out what's up with the exhibit? Like if, okay, Alpine large. Do I need to press like the left tab? Is that it? Oh, there we go. Cleanliness, habitat, happiness. All right, I've got this. We need to add in something so that they can take care of themselves and get a good scrub, I think is what it is. Um, I wonder, I mean, they already have a scrubbing station though. Is it empty? That might be the problem. Huh, edit, exhibit items. Uh, I should be able to like, mm -hmm. It's so hard to work with some of these things. There we go, okay. So he's coming over. He is a filthy tiger, what? Do I need to like refill it? Edit station, refill, there we go. Okay, I'm starting to figure this out because I'm still figuring out how to manage their happiness. The habitat happiness is pretty low, so maybe if I can add in uh, enrichments? Is that? Oh, they probably need enrichments. Yeah, what about a rope toy? Uh, engraved punch bag. Oh, we need to do some, what about a weathered whacker? Let's go ahead and start researching that to see if that helps. 
Whoa, okay. <gasps> we unlocked the meerkats! Huzzah! We need to get our hands on some meerkats. That's gonna be really important. And now we have the savannah rock, uh, which is probably where we're gonna actually find the meerkats now that I think of it. Um, I was trying to see if this was even good for our tigers though. Okay, and you can do this to see if it's good for tigers or not. So rope toys, tigers, not really. Tigers like scratching posts and maybe the slides. Activity centers? Nope. Okay, so let's put down a scratching post then. Let's just do a normal scratching post. And hopefully that'll help out our tigers. Are they a little happier? Yeah, look at that. And then their happiness is starting to go up now that we have added in some of those things. Wow, way up. They really wanted somewhere to scratch. Got it. And then our fame goes up corresponding to that. All right, so we're starting. Yeah, look at that. They're happier enjoying their toy, so they're really starting to be content. That's good to know. Let's start doing our research on the Savannah Rock. And then what do we need? Tropical Lawn. This is where our peafowl is going to be. I can just sense it. I can tell. I feel like my peafowl senses are tingling. We are going to have a wonderful peacock inside of this exhibit. If I can just get him in here. This is a good spot. There we go. Phew, all right, thank goodness. All right, we'll connect it up to the other paths and add in a peacock this time. I think we like we could definitely finish this up zip quick now that I'm starting to figure everything out. All right, tropical lawn, adopt new animals, peafowl. What did I tell you guys? <gasps> Capybara! They're one of my all-time favorite animals too. Oh, be still my heart. Too bad they don't allow Capybara to actually go into big exhibits. That's where they should roam. Now I have to play zoo crafting and zoo tycoon, zoo tycoon 2 in order to have all the Capybara I want all over the place because, oh my goodness, I love them. All right, we need to research the Indian peafowl. The green peafowl would be so cool. Oh my gosh, but that's not till level 22. So I don't think we're gonna be able to get to that one on this challenge. Um, my zookeeper should be taking care of my animals. They're very happy over here, happy over here, happy over here. Adding in toys for all of those animals really helped. We're pretty close to level 10 actually, I, which is part of our challenge. So I think we'll be fine there, to be completely honest. Uh, but we do need to put in some research. We need to put in that mini exhibit and then maybe some research for it. It's gonna be the Savannah Rock. That's what I'm betting. All right, do I even have anything? Did I even put anything inside the Arid Rock exhibit? I did not. There's not even any animals in here. Let's go ahead and move it. I didn't even put any animals into that other exhibit either. <laughs> I'm completing the challenges too fast. I don't even have a chance to add animals. Oh my gosh. At least that's a good sign. I must be learning what to do. Let's just go ahead and have a couple. Oh, we have to research the armadillo. That's okay. We'll have a cute little armadillo who can go in there. The One of the local animal rescues and education centers near my home has a bunch of armadillos and they named them uh, after different types of sports balls. So, oh yay, the animals are in their element and love their homes. It's fantastic. We have got a reward for that. Um, but anyway, the armadillos, <laughs> the armadillos who are in the rescue center near my home are not named Phil and Speckle and David and Alex. They're named after different types of sports balls. So they're like ping pong, volleyball. Uh, there's one named like Snitch after the Quidditch ball. Uh, like what else is there? There's like tennis, a basket. It's just so adorable. I love how they have all the different names. So it, it, anything that has like the word ball after it, they've got one of those little guys, let's say like soccer. They have soccer. I'm trying to think of the others. Badminton. They're, it's just so cute because these guys will roll up. Speckles, you're a level 10 armadillo. How many armadillos do you want actually in your exhibit? Doesn't really say. I don't think it really matters. We'll add Speckles and Alex. And now our exhibit is full. How are you guys doing in there? Whoa, they're big! Yeah, the armadillos that we had uh, were a lot smaller than... Oh! We're a lot smaller than these two. 
but they did curl up in little balls. And Tennis tennis Ball, the armadillo, was very busy digging up a tree inside of his exhibit last time I went to visit with him. He was so cute. I really, I like armadillos quite a bit. They can carry narcolepsy, however, so you don't want to touch a wild armadillo. That is completely not what you want to do. Never touch a wild armadillo, please. You, you might actually, or not narcolepsy, leprosy. There we go. I knew I had that wrong. You might get leprosy, and that's bad. Don't touch an armadillo. Life lessons from Siri. Samson, come join us. And then Cupcake. Oh, there we go, Flora. Samson and Flora, a male and female. Yeah, look at that. Now we're level 10. We can have red pandas now, which makes me quite happy. Uh, all of these, <gasps> mossy eye giraffes. Yes, large tropical areas. Oh, I can't wait until we start working on, um, yeah, we're gonna have a good time once we start working on our own zoo, I think. But let's come in. Let's check down, see how these peafowl are doing. Oh, lovely. We have a male and a female. And I often get comments where people are like, Siri, they're called peacocks, not peafowl. But actually the male that you see in the background with the fancy tail feathers, that is the peacock. Peacock is referring to the male peafowl. And the female who has the plain feathers right here is the peahen. So peacock and pea, oh, she pecked him. <laughs> Peacock and peahen are what you actually call them. Uh, they are not just like peacocks. That's only for the boys. It's kind of like rooster is the term that you use for the boy. Are you going to lift your tail? I would love to see your tail up, buddy. Oh, he's a handsome fellow. It's kind of like how you call you call the uh, like the male chicken a like a, not a chicken. You call it like yeah. Well, you call him a rooster. You know what I mean. And you call a female chicken a hen. So there's my ramble there. Uh, pea chick is also the name for if you have a little baby peafowl, by the way. Just like you call like a little a little one a chick. Hmm. Very good picture. Good angle on you, buddy. I want to get like those glorious. Oh, she pecked him again. <laughs> That's so fun. If you guys actually check my Instagram, when we were in London this summer, uh, we went to Kew Gardens and had an absolutely lovely time, but I did accidentally stumble on a peacock. Uh, nobody told me that there would be peacocks there, and all of a sudden I turned around and we were face to face with a peacock right in the middle of an orchard. It, it wasn't behind anything or in a cage, it was just wandering around. So that was pretty fun, but I have some really good pictures from my wildlife camera of that peacock on my Instagram, which I'm quite proud of. If you can't tell, I like taking pictures of animals. It's one of my favorite things to do. Speaking of which, what do we need to complete now? Uh, oh, the meerkat! All right, we just need to take a meerkat picture and then I think keep our animals needs out of the red and then boom, we're gonna be ready to take on another challenge like really soon. Nice. All right, let's pop over here. We're gonna go ahead and adopt a brand, what? Oh wait, that's my armadillo exhibit. Sorry guys. We're gonna come down here, adopt a new animal, a meerkat. Oh. Well, we'll adopt a meerkat once the research is finished at least. So that's good. And then I think I did put research into the breeding center, but we won't be able to do anything with it. We only have 13 minutes left. We gotta hoof it. The animals seem happy at least. Maybe I've got a lot of money. We can go ahead and add in like a last minute uh, cougar, elephant, giraffe, a last minute giraffe, just one. I have to have at least just one giraffe in my life, okay? <gasps> Lambert, look at you. Oh my gosh, this is a giraffe named Mischief. She's a curious creature, I want her. All right, so we're gonna add in a giraffe. Every one of my zoos. Ah, uh, come on. All right, there we go. Exhibit items, animal care. We wanna make sure that she's got her grass and leaves feeding station. There we go. Next spot, we want to make sure that she has her... I don't think she needs a cleaning station, actually. But, yeah, doesn't need a cleaning station, but let's give her an enrichment item. Actually, the giraffes... Oh, activity center for giraffes! What? What rope toy for giraffes? I am all about that life. Hello. That's fantastic. We're going to give her this activity center. We're going to give her a nice one, because I want her to have a really great life. Little mischief. There you go, Mischief. All right, and I think, like, maybe one last animal care. 
I'm gonna go ahead and give her a cleaning station just in case she uses it. I don't think she does, but we're gonna see. And is that good? Is that good now, Mischief? Is that all? Oh, she's lonely. Okay. <laughs> Any excuse to adopt a new giraffe. I have no problems with that. All right, Lambert, we'll say that you're her son. There we go. So Lambert and Mischief has come to join us just in time. And then next time we're actually going, we'll, we'll give him a good look. <gasps> Mischief, yes. Play with the thing, Mischief! Oh, play with that! Oh my gosh, I love you! Lambert, you are not a little boy. I thought you'd be just a teensy thing, but he's actually quite a, a large-sized giraffe already. Even though I thought he was going to be a baby. <laughs> But all right, we have Peafell, we have Meerkats on the way, we have Mischief and Lambert the Giraffe. Of course, that's going to make me happy. And we're going to have to add in some more and wrap up this challenge next time. So if you guys could please leave my lovely animals a like to give them a treat, consider joining my fleet of zookeepers and helping me to scoop all of this poop by subscribing. And let me know what animal is your favorite so far. I love this. I wish giraffes had more activity centers. Uh, hey kids, but I don't think that they actually will play with activity centers in real life. They they usually just stand there and stare at things and point their ears at them, which I still love them for because they're they're absolutely my favorite animal. <laughs> look at her and look at all those birds. This is awesome. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.